in this morning's Health Watch, arthritis and your diet. Arthritis is the most common form of disability in America, and yesterday we showed you how the right kind of exercise can help ease the pain. Well, this morning, registered dietitian Kerry Glassman has tips on food that can trigger your symptoms or make the pain go away. Good morning, Kerry. Good to see you. Good morning. So disabling. Um, can your diet actually for arthritis sufferers have an effect on maybe kind of lightening the pain that you have to deal with on a daily basis? Well, although there are no specific arthritis diet, there are many forms of arthritis and there is no specific arthritis diet. However, evidence has shown that following an anti-inflammatory diet may help relieve symptoms yeah. of many forms of arthritis, including swelling and pain. Okay, let's talk about some of the things that would help arthritis sufferers. And these are just some arthritis fighters out there because like you said, the symptoms can just be so much for individuals. Exactly, so the three types of foods to focus on are foods that are high in omega-3s, mm -hmm. antioxidants, and fiber. Okay. So starting with the omega-3 foods, the two specific omega-3 fatty acids. Now, omega-3 fatty acids are those essential fatty acids that we have to get from our diet because our bodies don't make them. The two specific ones that have a direct effect on reducing inflammation are going to be EPA and DHA, which are found in fish like salmon and sardines. Okay. And then you can also find them in fortified eggs, walnuts, flax seeds, and avocado. And then we hear so much about antioxidants. Researchers have found that a diet high in antioxidants can actually help prevent degenerative diseases, including arthritis. Okay. So we know that fruits and vegetables, you know, kale, spinach, sweet potato, berries, oranges, we know that all these foods have vitamin C and vitamin A. Vitamin C in particular has been shown to reduce the symptoms of arthritis. Okay. Leafy greens, obviously, lots of vegetables. The leafy greens. And another antioxidant really worth mentioning is selenium. People with arthritis have been found to have lower levels of selenium in their body. So foods with selenium are going to be Brazil nuts and tuna. So those are important, it's important to get in as well. And then, of course, fiber foods. Yeah. Fiber is really important to get in your diet because fiber is found in whole grains. Refined foods like white breads and pasta actually help exacerbate inflammation in the body, so you don't want to have. So just by eating whole grains and skipping the refined, you're going to help alleviate some of the symptoms. Now, this sounds, I mean, it's a very healthy diet. Could it help with other things like weight loss, cholesterol, all these other ailments that people may have, well, it's aside not, from just arthritis? That's a very good point. It's not exactly you know, a weight loss diet. It's more of a lifestyle. But of course, when you're eating these foods, you're, there's a good chance you know that you can even lose weight. And when you lose weight, we know that that also helps reduce stress on the body. And an anti-inflammatory diet in general also is helpful for heart disease and even preventing cancer. Okay, flip side of the coin, arthritis triggers. Okay, so triggers for arthritis are going to be three common ones, saturated and trans fats, omega-6s and the nightshade vegetables. Mm -hmm. the, ome the trans and saturated fats, you know, saturated fats we find in obviously meat and butter, those can actually increase inflammation. The trans fats, which we find in foods like potato chips and, you know, packaged cookies, those are actually twice as damaging to the body as even the saturated fats. How, oh, I'm sorry, keep going, because I'm just wondering, it just looks kind of obvious. If you stay healthy, you're going to be okay. If you go unhealthy, Absolutely. you're going to have some problems. Absolutely, and that's why this really is an overall healthy diet for everyone. The omega-6s are found in these oils over here, yep. sunflower oil. Um, and so the reason we want to stay away from those is that our Western diets are very high in omega-6s and low in the omega-3s. So if you are worried about inflammation, you want to reduce the omega-6s and increase the omega-3s. Got it. Get rid of the 6s, bring on the 3s. Exactly. Kelly, thank you. Very informative. But uh, hey, if you want Just to reduce inflammation, overall, this is the way to go. Fruits and vegetables, All lots right. of fiber.